Sarah Kane really changed the face of British theatre and British playwriting in a very powerful and palpable way. I don't think all players do delve as deeply as hers do. She's brave enough to put down on paper what a lot of people aren't. It's the first time we were able to do a complete work season, so we're actually doing all of Sarah's plays, three full productions, two readings, and we're showing her short film. There's a perception out there about the plays that they are shocking and challenging, and of course they are perhaps those things, even now, 20 years on, but at their heart, at their core, is a great sense of humour, a black sense of humour, and an underlying theme which is about a yearning for love. The three plays that we are producing in full productions are very different. We kick off with Blasted, directed by Richard Wilson. Blasted is Sarah Kane's first play, and she was writing it when she was at university. She had written two scenes, and it was about uh, a relationship between a man and a woman, and a rape. And then she saw newsreel footage of the Croatian war in the 1990s. And she decided that she wanted to write a play about that. And she thought, should I stop the play I'm writing already? And then she realized that they were connected. So she carried on. Like there isn't a happy ending with this play. Like a lot of the play is, is really unpleasant, but that's what quite a lot of life is about. When it was first shown Blasted, the Critics were appalled and disgusted across the board and there wasn't anyone saying anything good about it. And it took a couple of years for them to re-examine it and decide that it's a great piece of writing. I think the thing is about Sarah Kane is she's got such a universal way of writing um, that's kind of left open really. You know, she specifies a few things in the play, where we are and what we're doing, and um, but she doesn't go into great detail and I think that's in order for us to be able to find similarities. Crave and 448 Psychosis will be played in rep with the same company of actors and they'll be directed by Charlotte Gwinner, who's our new associate director. We're using a company of four actors to perform both plays. Chris Fulford, Reiki Iola, Tom Mothersdale and Pearl Chander. So both of the plays are extremely poetic. Uh, Crave was the beginning of a journey which Sarah Kane took her work on um, where she wanted to explore language and violence in a more hidden and less overt way. 448 Psychosis is Sarah's last play and perhaps her most personal play and in it that theme of wanting to find love, wanting to find someone really comes to the fore. She's compelling for an audience and she's compelling in a rehearsal room because she is a singular force and her writing is completely and utterly full of conviction and is visceral and muscular. And I think it's really exciting to work on because as a director, you feel like you need to match up to her. I think audiences will take away many different things. Hopefully, they'll be horrified about the things it says about war. There are some very graphic descriptions. There are some very graphic happenings. It's not, a, it's not an easy play to watch. But I would think, apart from uh, uh, being an anti-war play, that there are many ideas, and I hope that different audiences will take away different things. I had the great privilege of being in two of Sarah's plays in the original production, so I got to know her a little. And uh, I consider that one of the great privileges of my life to have worked alongside her. She was an extraordinary, brilliant, funny person, and I'm really proud that we are honouring her with the season of her work.